Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to talk about five must know Excel charting tips. As always, if you haven't already done so, you can read the blog or check out the blog at www.videofinancialmodeling.com slash blog uh, prior to starting this video tutorial. Okay, so these are some really cool tips that you can use when you're charting in Excel. Uh, the first tip is to chart the below data using the shortcut key. Now, if any of you guys have taken our shortcuts training course, our Excel shortcuts training course, you'll know that you can quickly highlight data by using control shift arrow across. So we've highlighted the revenue in this case and then push F11 to chart it, okay? We're gonna copy this chart, so we're gonna go select it, Control C, and we're gonna paste it in here, okay? And we're gonna just do a bit of formatting in here so it fits. Might need to add a couple of rows, so Shift Space Bar, Control Shift Plus Plus Plus, We'll add a few rows for you. We'll just take that down a bit more. And okay, that fits in now. So we've got it, we've charted that data now, so you can see the revenue sort of going up, not quite in a linear fashion, but sort of in an in a exponential uh, fashion, albeit relatively slowly. Um, now, what we can do. On this chart, we're going to do a few fancy things to it using the next few tips. Um, we're going to use the redo shortcut key, which is F4. So say, for example, if I wanted to change this font to 14, what I could do is I could go Alt-H um, and then FS for font and then 14 and Enter. Now, if I select this axis and I want to change it to 14 as well, all I have to do is push F4 on it and that'll redo it. Now, that might seem quite tedious, but when you have a lot of different labels, you can just select the labels really quickly and push F4. And that also works on, on PowerPoint presentations and the like. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to add in the revenue below uh, the, or the revenue per unit below on a second axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to do it manually first and then I'm going to show you a quick tip to insert that data. So select data, we're going to add data. The series name is going to be, so we'll just select the revenue per unit. We're going to go OK. The series values are, we're just going to select all that. So once again, control shift arrow across will select that, or you can manually do it using your mouse. It's just a bit harder and more time consuming. And we're going to go OK. And that one's all good. We're going to change this to edit, and we're going to go and select the revenue up the top. OK enter and edit. Now it's already one to 10, but we're gonna select the actual years. Okay, and okay, okay. So now we've got a chart and here, well, it says we've selected that other data, but really it's, it's this data down here the revenue per unit. Now what we want to do is we want to go to layout, format selection. Of course you can go alt and then JA for layout and M for format selection. And we're going to put it on a secondary axis. And we're going to close. And now we're going to change this chart type. So we're going to right click, and we're going to change data series and we're going to put a line there and push OK. Right, so now you can see, and we're going to, let's put a legend on here. So 
click on the chart and we're going to put in layout and access titles or, or legend rather and we're going to show the legend down the bottom okay so we've got revenue in blue and it's on the primary axis and then we've got revenue per unit in red and we can put labels on here but we're not going to do that in in this tutorial it's pretty easy just go up to access titles okay the next one we're going to do is we're going to add a title uh, to the chart called revenue and revenue per unit so we're going to put a dynamic title in there so we're going to go revenue and revenue per unit and we're going to go up here and left click that we'll use our shortcut alt and then ja and we're going to put in t for title and we're going to put it above the chart so enter and we're going to go equals and we're going to navigate down here and put in that one and enter and now you can see revenue and revenue per unit now if we change this to uh, trial chart then it's going to change to trial chart there so that just gives you a bit more flexibility now this next one is an amazing tip I, I think I think it's one of the best tips um, going around and it can simplify your job um, a lot so here what we're going to do is we're going to select the expenses line so control shift arrow across I'm going to go control C to copy I'm going to select the chart and we're going to go control V to paste and you'll see there that series three has come in here now that's a line chart as well so it's reading off the secondary axis so what we're going to have to do is go layout and we're going to go format selection and that's going to come on the primary axis we're also going to change the chart type so we're going to go right uh, change series type let's do an area chart here so we want not a stacked area we just want a normal area okay now we can't push f4 for re redo for a chart type so what we're going to do is we're going to go right click and we're going to change that as well to an area chart and we're going to push OK. Now what you're going to see is that, okay, let's just check the top level of the revenue is 25,799, so that makes sense. That's just over the 25,000 mark. And the expenses are 5,160, so that's just over the 5,000 mark and you can see the revenue per units is escalating but not as much as the revenue growth so there's another driver there that's it might be inflation for example that's uh, growing the revenue in this case now let's change our chart title to revenues expenses and revenue per unit and should come up as the chart title now and we're finished with that chart bar one thing let's put in a title on this one so right click select data series 3 edit and select the range and expenses and okay and that chart looks pretty good now so we could put some like I said we can put some uh, uh, labels on the axes but we're not going to do that now what we are going to do is use that that trick so we're going to 
put all the font in 14. So select the next one, F4, select the next one, if we can, F4, F4. So that's all in 14 now, and we'll do it on this one as well, F4. So we've got the font sizes all the same for the axes and also the labels and titles. Okay, that's it for this video financial modeling blog tutorial. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. There's some great tips in there. If you like our tutorials, please sign up to our YouTube channel or our newsletter. Thanks for listening.